I've had a love affair with cars my whole life. I build them in my shop, and I race them both on and off-road. I've spent years on the auto show circuit talking about cars, but now it's time to get behind the wheel and find the next adventure. Together, we're setting out to tackle all things that every car enthusiast should do. This is The List. Hi everybody, welcome to The List, I'm Patrick McIntyre. And I'm Jesse Combs. Today we are at Bonnerant School of High Performance Driving to participate in the Executive Protection Program. We're going to execute some of the maneuvers and techniques that are used by law enforcement and government officials around the world. Now the law has a lot of technology at their disposal to handle the bad guys, but sometimes you just got to put the skill to the wheel to be able to get yourself out of a sticky situation. But first, we got to go inside for our briefing from our instructor, Darren Law. All right, welcome to the uh, Bondurant School of High Performance Driving. My name is Darren Law. I'll be your instructor for the day. The school's very diverse. We train everything from the, the race car driver to the everyday person. And then we also have a specialized program, which is our executive protection program, which is what we're doing today. And we're going to start off with the dead man driving. This is the Chevrolet Tahoe. This vehicle is used in many places in many different applications, and, and we'll be using this a lot today. First up is dead driver. All right, so your driver's been shot. Your scenario is you're going to have to First off, unbuckle. You're going to have to shove the driver over as much as you can and get him pushed against the seat here. What? And then you're going to basically sit on the edge of the seat. You're going to have to take control of the throttle and the steering. Now, don't forget, you're going in left and right transition. So obviously, uh, as, as you turn through a right-hand corner, the dead person is going to fall against the window. Oh, yeah. It should be fairly easy. Okay, but as you turn to the left, everything's going to flop this way. Yeah. So you may need to uh, brace yourself against the seat. You may need to put your right leg against the door. Whatever you need to do to brace yourself and then steer the car. So we're just talking okay. Sunday Bang, drive. Bang, I'm shot. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. What are you going on? Okay, that's good. Let's see there's bad guys. Okay, the, the bad guys have caught us and they're like trying to kill us now. Okay, so based on the first run, you did everything right. The driving portion is not too tough, but as soon as the person, as soon as we say shot, you need to, you need to hustle. You need to get over here quicker. You need to shove the body out of the way quicker. And then we need to be on the gas driving through these corners quicker. You have really long legs. <laughs> I know. Let's do one more with you. And you want to hop up here? You can be the driver. Uh, be sure. Guy? I'll be dead. All right, you be the dead guy. Do I put my seatbelt on? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to be dead in a little while, so what does it matter, right? <laughs> All right, here we go. Ready? So yeah, I got a new puppy. I mean, I just got engaged. I signed my life insurance policy today. It's crazy. All of a sudden, I'd say you're shot. <laughs> oh. Oh. That was good. Gas it. Let's get out of here. Perfect. Good deal. Hang in there, buddy. Tell my wife I love her. I will. <laughs> Patrick's incapacitated. I have to push him all the way over to the door, keep him in place, drive left foot, brace myself, and get us to safety all at the same time. There's a lot going on. So you're driving with your grandma? Yes, I am. Holy crap. Oh, it's so good to see yeah. you, Patrick. Thanks, it's Grandma. Been so long. Man, you're 102 this year. I can't believe it. I'm still driving. And you're going to live forever. Gr grandma! Grandma! Oh, geez, Grandma, please. Hold on, hold on. Uh, you are way harder to hold up when you're my grandma. I'm trying to hold your head with my left hand. Oh, that is hard. I'm trying to get her foot away from the brake. <laughs> grandma, Grandma, please. Grandma, Grandma! <laughs> Anybody? Hi, help. Honey. I'm okay. It's, it's all right. Oh, it's just... <laughs> The dead driver exercise is a lot harder than I expected. I mean, Jesse's kind of a lightweight, but it's tough when someone goes limp to shove them up against the door, keep them from falling into the steering wheel, and drive with your left foot while you're doing a one-cheek sneak on the seat. All right, Jesse, you did a great job with this. It's tough in your situation because you're a smaller, petite person, and so trying to jump over to the driver's side and move a heavy driver out of the way and then brace yourself uh, is really tough. And Patrick, you did a great job as well. You know, it's a, I think it's a lot easier for a guy. It's easier to move the person out of the way, uh, push them aside, and, and you were able to handle the car well, and you got it through. Next up is the reverse 180. Now, this is such a cool maneuver. I've been wanting to do it since I was a kid. I mean, to go from backwards to forwards in a matter of seconds, that's cool. All right, so number one, you're gonna come up, you're gonna come to a complete stop. You'll start into reverse, you'll start getting the car going in, in the backwards direction. Again, the weight will be going onto the front wheels. We don't have to go super fast, you have to get up to a moderate rate of speed. It's about 20 mile an hour, but you don't need to watch. Your very first step before you do anything is gonna be to lift on the throttle. Uh, again, if you don't lift and you start to turn, you're just gonna back up in a big arc. All right, so we stop, we put it in reverse, 
We get a little bit of, of movement going. Then you put your foot on the gas. Okay, ready? Lift, turn, drive, straight. What? And we're going back the other way. All right, okay. so a little bit of gas. Just get the thing rolling. Okay, now a little more, a little more. Okay, ready and lift. Where's your drive? Where's your drive? Oh, oh, oh. Uh, oh. close. Almost got it. That was really close. Yep, that was close. You got everything right. You did the lift and the turn. I would say you were late on drive, and sometimes it'll stall the engine if you don't get it in drive soon enough. All right, ready? Yep. Okay. Here we go. A little bit of gas. Get the thing rolling. Okay, this is good speed. Ready? Lift. Drive. There you go. Yeah. Perfect. Ah! There you go. We're out of here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, a little bit of gas. Get it rolling. Okay, keep going, more speed. Okay, lift, slow lift. That was good on the drive part. Okay. And let's, uh, when we take, when you get back to forward, take off. Let's take keep off. going. Okay. All right, gas, now floor it. A little more, a little more, a little more. Okay, lift, pop up. There you go, drive and straighten it out. Gas it, gas it. Good. Yeah! Nice. So the next maneuver we're doing is what they call pit maneuvers. And basically what it is, is we're gonna learn how to spin out another car. The critical part of this maneuver is where you hit the car or where you take it out. Again, you can't, uh, just like we talked about in the classroom, you cannot be from the center line forward of the axle. You need to be behind the rear wheel. Once the car actually makes contact and, and you reach the, uh, the side of the vehicle, that's when you need to accelerate to push and drive through it. Can I be the bad guy? Is she a good bad guy? Yeah, you're a good bad guy. All right. Is that really what a bad guy does? Yeah, that's a bad I don't guy think so. <laughs> well, show us your hero face. Then. It was hard not to notice those 80s cop cars as soon as we came in. I have been dying for years to be able to do a pit maneuver, and this is finally my chance to do it without having to run from the cops. So, what we've done, we've caught up to them. We're close. Just behind the rear wheel. We need to turn and get them. Whoa! Them. And spin them right out. Holy oh, it goes fast. All right, so accelerate up. Get up there alongside him. Ease up a bit. Okay. Now turn. Uh, now. Yeah, yeah, turn into him. Turn into him. Gas it. There you go. Perfect. Cops. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Okay, same thing. Get caught up to him. All right, a little closer, a little closer. A Ain't little going closer. back to jail. I'm not okay, going back to jail. Turn no, and gas no, it, gas no, it. No. I Got did it. lift off a little. Yeah, a okay. little bit. But okay. and yep. see that that take him, took him a little longer to get spinning. Mm -hmm. yep. So you gotta you gotta just once you get to it, just throttle it. Okay. Okay, guys. Yeah. We've done we've done just about everything. So what we're gonna do is do a final scenario. We're gonna take you down on the racetrack. Uh, you're gonna be in your own Camaro. We're gonna have someone driving by with a gun, shooting paintballs at you. <laughs> you have to make the right decision, decide when to break, what to do, how to reverse out of there, and get away from the scenario. Oh, and then to top it off, we're gonna have little um, squares marked on each window. We'll see who gets shot the worst. Nice Sunday drive. Yeah, we're just hanging in the out. Neighborhood. No yeah. big deal. Yeah, a what tall. could possibly go wrong today? Oh, look at that. Gun, 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 gun. Okay, reverse. Reverse, reverse. Are you ready? And lift. Good. Perfect. We're out of here. Wow, I think they only hit you once. Nice job. Nice oh. job. Okay, so same thing. Nice Sunday drive, huh? Cruising yeah. through the neighborhood, heading to lunch. Not many cars on the road. Nice Tahoe behind us. A little Scary strange. things. To Some guy it. coming up here. He's got a gun. He's got a gun. Reverse, reverse. Okay, lift and turn. No, no, no. Oh, you didn't lift. You didn't lift. Get out of here. Drive, 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 drive. He's still go. trying to He's talk it. Go, 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 go. It is a totally different scenario yes. when, you have to, like, when you're being chased. You're, yeah, you didn't get out of it. You you just eased off of the gas, and so we drove backwards. Okay. You remember? Yep. Yep. Okay, guys, let's, uh, we'll talk about the driving maneuvers in a second, but I want to I wanna hear about your shots there. I was mainly just trying to disable his engine. I can't really harm anybody, especially Patrick. 
Oh, oh that was that's nice. Super nice. On the other hand, Patrick, uh, I was out for blood. Your, your yeah. shot was a little different than yeah, hers. I'm, I'm was, dead, totally. I yeah. was going for the headshot in this one. I <laughs> uh, didn't hit the square, but based off the trajectory, I'd definitely skim the top. So, can we check uh, executive protection driving off of our list? Yes, I would say you've both successfully completed our executive protection driving program at the Bonron School. So, awesome. congratulations awesome. for graduating. Thank you for your instruction. You're welcome. It was a great day. I learned You're a lot. Welcome. It was. I feel safer on the streets. I feel a lot better. So thank you guys for watching. And make sure to write into autoblog.com and tell us what's on your list. I can be your chauffeur now. You can be the executive. Well, I could be your chauffeur too. I don't know about that.